Hello and welcome. <clears throat> it is Tuesday, October the 3rd, and the world is losing its shit already. We haven't even got close to eclipse season. Um, that is rolling up. October 14th is the first eclipse. And then again on the 28th. So if you think the pressure is, is a little intense right now, hang in there. Wow. As I talk, tower card comes up. <clears throat> yeah, it, it is, uh, it, it's going to get intense. There is going to be a lot of things come to light for our country. Um, a lot more things are going to be exposed about the corruption on both sides. It is not a time to take sides. Definitely not a time to take sides. A lot of healing is required for our country. Four swords came up. <clears throat> you know, I'm just going to go ahead and let this reading uh, unravel this way for you guys. It's a little different than the way I normally do it. Yeah, we've got to, we've got to look to the future. We've got the three of wands there. Even though things are going to look really bleak for a while for our country. The healing is going to happen. We always rise above it. Three of swords. Too many players on the field. You're going to find out there are a lot more people involved <clears throat> in the political things that are uh, unraveling right now. There's background players who are going to come to light. I actually think you, we, we may see some suicides uh, on the, in the political arena. And I think th there's going to be a legitimate suicide, not somebody getting bumped off and we'll call it that. Uh, that tower card, you know, those people are diving out of there trying to save their lives. Like the stock market crash of the, in the, was that the 30s or the 40s? <clears throat> And men literally jumped out of uh, <clears throat> the windows of skyscrapers that they worked in. Whoops, way too many. Was it? Let's, you know, one, two, three. Let's take that. Yep, yep. Let's take that. Um, we have the Eight of Swords. And you know what? We're all going to feel like our hands are tied with all this stuff that's coming to light. A lot of us are going to be blindsided by, by this. Some of you are still holding fast to thoughts uh, and beliefs of your party. And you don't want to see that there is so much corruption. The best thing we can do is keep our head down. Mind our own damn business. Stay in our own lane. Shut the hell up. <laughs> you know what? Help me preach love and light. You know, we've got to stay positive. We've got to stay upbeat. Um, we manifest in our own life what we think about, what we worry about. So it is hard to disconnect ourselves from the outside world and put the focus just in our little household. Uh, we may have to do that. We've got the Queen of Pentacles. <clears throat> That queen is, uh, you know what, it, it's actually going to be each and every one of you throughout the month reassessing your finances, looking at that, that which you thought was solid, whether it is finances or another human being. Somebody that you thought was straight up. One of the other cards that jumped out with that was the justice card. You know, justice will prevail. Although it's a little bent right now. Evidently, if you're a politician in any country, you have carte blanche. We have the chariot card. Uh, you know what? Some of the changes and things that are going to come to light are going to happen really fast. 
something's going to unravel. They're going to find out that there are more people behind the scenes. Um, you know, some of you don't know that I, I do missing persons work. And a lot of the time I am, and see how much time on my timer there. <clears throat> a lot of the times that missing persons work takes me to the human trafficking. And I think that is going to come to light in the eclipse season between the 14th and the 28th. Our country is involved in human trafficking. That's why the kids, when they come across the border, get separated from their parents. And nobody's turning the gates off. And you're going to find out that human trafficking is more prevalent than, than we, we realize for our country. It, it, it's, it's as though it's the upper class uh, elites are treating it like it's a commodity. <clears throat> black and white. A high priestess card. Again, right after the other black and white card. <clears throat> How about that? I don't know why I have a tickle today. <clears throat> that high priestess actually came out kind of just to confirm what I was talking about. There is a darker side to things that a lot of us didn't know. I, I didn't know how deep this was myself. And when I look into it and make that connection... It's sickening. All right, grabbing another deck here. Let's see, can we bring some positivity spirit into this reading for this week? And you know, I did mention it was uh, October the 3rd, but it, these videos, no matter when you find them, it might be the time you need it. So anytime. Can I get a couple more jumper spirit, please? I do have, whoops, I'm sitting, I'm sitting in front of the paranormal flashlight. Oh, wow. It rolled. I didn't see it roll. Next video. I upstaged him. All right, let's see here. <clears throat> I was hoping to pick the energy of this reading up. <clears throat> and we, we can do that. We can do that. Um, the Hierophant came up. So we are going to be disappointed with people clear to the Vatican. That dark elites are going to be begin to expose each other more and more. Now, we have the two of wands. And that's about the promise of a new prosperity, new life. Um, coming together and reformulating. That two ones is us looking for that new beginning. Also the five of cups. <clears throat> We may have to turn our back on things that no longer serve us. But those cups in front of her, they may be spilled. But there's also a river there to replenish in. River's always God's source. Always. Don't look to me, look to God. <clears throat> All right, you guys. Hey, you know what? Um, I let that reading unfold that, that particular way. I see we've got a lot of ugly things coming in the uh, political forefront. Get ready. It's going to look ugly. You're gonna, we may see some names and faces exposed that we didn't expect. We may hear some things that we you know weren't quite ready for. All right, there you have it. Ooh, hope that wasn't too loud. Um... 
just a little bit of a heads up on what to expect through this eclipse season coming up in the political arena. So, hey, you know, take it with a grain of salt. I only play an internet psychic, okay? It, it's a part, I, it's a role I play. <laughs> All right, you guys. <clears throat> you know, I never leave you that I don't bless you with love and light. See you soon.